Before we get started on this video, I want to make a little disclaimer. This video is not for kids. It's not a, a family video. I'm making this video specifically for the main demographic that watches. It's young men. It's, uh, it's young dads. It's teenage boys. It's people who love the outdoors. This video here is going to be for you. I'm going to step way out of my comfort zone on this one. And we are going to talk about something that um, well, it's really interesting. It's really interesting, especially because I've been a hunting and fishing channel, so I thought, for the last, well, since 2017. This Friday, just a few days ago, I attended a funeral for, we'll say, an acquaintance. Um, a person that I've known for a long time, whose, whose life has been entangled in my life through a bunch of common friends. Um, and just our roles in the community. And the reason why I'm talking to you guys about this is because this fella was a couple of years older than me. He had three children, one who had passed, and he committed suicide. At his funeral, the pastor said something that really stuck with me. And, and honestly, through this person's passing away, not only has it changed the trajectory of my life, but it could have saved it. Fellas, this guy stood up there, this pastor, and he said, leaders lead. Leaders lead. That's what they do. And I'm ashamed to say this, but something that's been a tremendous effect on my adult life especially the last couple of years, and attributes to majority of the successes that I've had, is my faith. And when I grow this channel and when I grow these businesses that I have, I try to do my best to not make it about me and to make it about Jesus and the one who, who gives me this, this life. I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something that might seem real awkward, okay? So in my deer hunting video with my boys, uh, I prayed on camera for the first time. And I was terrified to show you guys that because I thought people would think that I was trying to put off a, put off this, this idea of me or put off this, this, impression of who I am and and I thought people wouldn't like that and honestly I wasn't sure hmm, how do I say this I didn't want people to think I was doing it just to do it and the reality of it was I was very uncomfortable with it I was uncomfortable I'm, I'm not a for the longest time, I've kept, for the most part, my faith to myself. And, you know, I was worried that I would lose a lot of followers on this channel, which is a terrible thing to think about or care about. I was worried about what it would make people think. I would worry, was worried about what um, the potential for growth with this would be. And I, I, I just don't care. You know, I messed up with that. I, I'm not ashamed of any of it. Leaders lead. I finally figured out what I'm supposed to be doing with this channel. I'm going to keep making cool hunting and fishing videos. I'm going to keep making videos of my family doing great things. I want to show all of you guys that my dream is to be an awesome dad and to be a shining light for dads who are struggling and show them different ways to connect with their families and their kids. My main one is hunting and fishing. That is my outlet. That's where I feel closest to the people around me. That's where I feel closest to God. But I know there's a lot of other things. And man, I, the reason why the funeral hit me and so many other people so hard, and this is above the fact that the guy was a great guy and he just hit a low spot and he lost his battle was because we are all him. 
so many of us as young dads feel inadequate. We feel like we're not doing enough. We feel like failures. We feel like our families are, are, are better off without us. We feel like we've lost ourselves. We feel like we're alone and there's this darkness. And what I learned the most out of this in seeing somebody else have went through this and lost that battle was, I am definitely not alone. Everybody is just scared to talk about it. And they're scared to bring it up. And you know what? I, I made a video um, last year, over a year ago, where I accepted as a, a new stage of my life where I was going to accept Jesus as being um, as my Savior. And I was going to be open and honest with it. And I've tried. So it might not be the best of my abilities, but I've tried. And I also made a video on my personal social media where I, I shared something that I filmed a few years back where I had a breakdown, a real life mental breakdown, tears, despair, low spaces. And I shared that because I wasn't there anymore. And I wanted people to see that I, I was going through it and I got out of it. And instead of being ashamed of that, and instead of hiding it, I am, I'm trying to show that leaders lead. And I didn't know what I was doing. I don't care what people think anymore about me. I don't. I want to lead. I don't care. If there are people who are maybe atheists or don't believe in God or don't believe in whatever, and I'm going to lose them and they're going to write comments about things because... We should just be a hunting channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching. There's plenty of other channels out there for you. I'm here to spread my message. I'm here to help dads connect with their families. I'm here to help people connect with the outdoors and be better people. And I didn't know this, but I'm here to spread the word of Jesus in a way that's not pushing it down your throats. Okay? I am trying to serve as a light in the room. And however much light you need, the closer you can stand to me. It's kind of a weird video, but it's my channel. I can do what I want. And I hope you guys are excited to watch the cool adventures and things that I do. Spending time and having a, these, these great experiences in the world that we were given to use. And I am excited to be unapologetic in my faith while we do it, in growing in faith with my family, and in hopefully trying to connect with you struggling dads, all dads, all people, we all struggle, guys. We all struggle. But just know we're not alone. I'm gonna wrap it up, because this is a weird ranting video. But this person, took their life because they were struggling and they felt alone and they felt like it was the best thing to do. Yet for the last week, I have watched so many people show how much they cared about that person. And I can only, I can only like reflect on that and think, how dark does it have to be for us sometimes that we can't see this massive amount of support that we have and this massive amount of love and community we have. So, North Prairie Life Crew, I am here to spread the message of outdoors, loving that lifestyle, and what that means. And to me, what that means is being grateful for who created it and being grateful who created me and who gave me children and gave me my wife and gave us the ability to do these things, and gave us the financial means to do these things. There is no part of me, not one piece, that takes for granted all these awesome things that I've been able to do. And I'm so immensely grateful that any bit of shame or any bit of fear or hesitancy that I once had towards sharing who I really am 
is gone. Because honestly, being successful means that I have to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Especially if it's a worse version of me. It's not worth it to me. What's worth it to me is making real, meaningful, connecting relationships. And again, letting you know that even though there's a camera between you and I and a screen between you and I, as a dad and a person who has struggled, who continues to struggle, some great times, some not so great times, I see you, I see what you're going through, and just know you're not alone, you'll get through it. And if you haven't, pick up a Bible once and check it out. Go to a church, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Okay, he'll help you, but you have to seek him first. Guys, a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a uh, way, way off topic. And I, I questioned again if, I would, if I'd make this video, but um, like I said before, it's my channel. I'm going to do what I need to do. And if I end up losing every single subscriber and every single person, I only have one person, but that person needs me, I guess that's how it's going to be. Men, women, ladies... Well, there's not many ladies that watch North Prairie Life videos, let's be honest. But hey, you know what? I'm not that bad. You should probably check it out. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for all the things you've done for me and all the things you allow me to do. I look forward to sharing my life and my, my, my leading of my own family and my own children. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again. Thanks again for checking us out. Thanks for ranting with me on a Sunday. Hopefully we can have more talks like this. And hopefully you know, I can use my small platform to, uh, to help grow people in, in their personal development in a way that's not rah-rah, but in a way that's it's real, okay? It's real. And I look forward to us all getting ready to, to strap the boots on and, and go hunting again and, and get out and go fishing again, okay? Hey, everybody keep living your